Kyo yo. Doyen has, uh, has made it official that uh, what was my only pay tax. Uh, what was in our lipo tax? Buskia will I say my bajana when he met the taxman. The pressure on our pair. We 30 million registered customers transacting billions daily. The fact that this opportunity remains unclear to carry demonstrates why radical changes are necessary. Every Kenyan with an ID should have a PIN number. Just as simple as that. Now, what about the hustlers, the mamboggers who are promised heaven? Huh? Pressure is mounting. Eh? Everyone must contribute. When you kunaenda, it seems like uh, uh, the pressure is mounting on uh, the taxman. Huh? It seems that he has been reluctant all wamekuwa pesa ya kiare sana hmm? na ni kama the president says ya kuna hiyo information so that's why unaona ako very serious eh? ameongeza amesema like amesset targets amesema the taxman must raise uh, 3 trillion we technology and a considerate fair Unprofessional mobilization will do the job quite well. Safaricom, a telco, has registered more people than carry a powerful state organization. It is very clear that the magic lies in technology and strategy, not in power and resources. So he has made it clear that uh... Carries maybe reluctant on the use of technology. Maybe that's the reason they have not been able to to register more people. As Safaricom has done, like now, Safaricom has more than 20 million users uh, who are currently transacting. But surprisingly, KRA, which has all the resources, has only managed. 7 million taxpayers mm. so i'm happy you're taking notes the agenda i have set out to read calibrate and reorient our tax administration framework signifies our appreciation of the contribution of our taxpayers who continue to embrace their patriotic share of practical nation building efforts. We must not deny any eligible Kenyan their opportunity to take part in the noble task of affirming freedom and entrenching our sovereignty. Universal tax registration is a historic endeavor to enlist all Kenyans in the patriotic effort of reinforcing our independence by enhancing self-reliance. We must pay attention to KRA because it plays an indispensable role in mobilizing the resources required to enhance the well-being of Kenyans and finance necessary measures for growing the national cake. In short, what the president means is that uh, um, in his government, uh, he's going to focus more on raising funds from uh, internal sources, which is uh, taxation, maybe uh, through some borrowing. So remember currently, our country has been blacklisted to take more loans. So the focus is on Gary. So that's why he's more concerned with streamlining how Gary corrects it is revenue. How we do 
our tax administration can determine whether KRA is a fulcrum in a virtuous or a vicious cycle in our public finance management system. So, see what uh, is likely to, to do a complete eh, overhaul of KRA. I very soon expect you to see your faces in those offices. There is a likelihood that changes are going to be made. The measures I have set out, therefore, demonstrate our government's full appreciation of the KRA as a guarantor of national development. So he has come up with our new strategies that are going to determine how to govern how carry functions. Basically, the primary aim of this uh, move is to ensure that carry raises maximum revenue to finance, support development and recurrent government expenditures. We are, <clears throat> we are clear in our understanding that it must become even more effective in this mandate. I pledge my total support for KRA and KRA's role and evolution towards optimal tax administration for our, our historic transformation era. In short, if the current administration of KRA is not going to perform, that is it. They are going to be replaced because that parastatal must perform and really, really well. It must perform because that's the only option we have to, to raise revenue to support various developmental projects in this country. I also commit, as I have done, to champion. the commitment that every Kenyan who has the potential to pay tax actually pays their fair share of uh, taxes. Just to confirm to you, CG, that there are alternative ways of resolving issues. Yeah, there are alternative ways of resolving issues. Let me give you another example. We passed the law on contributions to our National Social Security Fund in 2014. It's been in court for nine years. So that instead of being punitive, it becomes facilitative of our taxpayers to pay tax. It is the only way, CG and your team, that you will meet the targets I have given you. So in short, um, uh, the government has put measures in place to ensure that uh, it raises maximum revenue, specifically from Gary. Actually, this is a nice move from the president because uh, in his bottom-up model, must find uh, it, it must find resources to finance it hmm? and like initially told us that uh, in 100 days things are going to be better not really for now let's give him one year because uh, that model has to be developed in a way that uh, it has to be financed well, and the results can be seen after one year. So, Kenyans, we have to pay more taxes. Suffering continues, but there is always light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you. If you have not subscribed, kindly hit that subscribe button, like, and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. You have, you have to think outside the box. 
I am determined to ensure that our tax